Welcome back to my channel where I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. Okay, so before we get into this video, there's a bit of an announcement, I suppose, and I want your guys' opinion on this, right? There will be a poll over yonder. This channel will primarily be content like this. Makeup related videos, Ulta or Sephora hauls or clothing hauls, the occasional random video about serial killers or astrology or cults or some crazy bullshit that has no fucking business being here. As for the recovery series, and this is where I really wanna know your guys' thoughts, I'm obviously continuing it. I love that series, it's not going anywhere, but should it be moved to my second channel, more Margot, and keep that more of like personal based content and keep this one like primarily beauty centered instead of like a fucking variety show. When it comes down to, in a sense, branding yourself and your channel and social media in general, I know that you need to have your own little niche and that's kind of what I'm gonna try and do. <laughs> I think it's just time to fucking go for it, man. Enough fucking around, enough beating around the bush. So today's video is the beginning of easily the most requested videos ever in the history of the entire internet. Nah, I'm just fucking around. But seriously though. All right, it's gonna be a first impressions, new products, hybrid-ish. Some products I'm sure you'll know and aren't new by any means, but for those who may not know the deets or just as like a reference in general, I'll make sure to put like the name and the price and whatnot, probably here-ish, and all of the deets, links, whatnot will always be down in the description. Oh, and um, small disclaimer for your safety and my conscience, I Shocker. am not a booty guru. I'm not an MUA. Shocker. Nor do I claim to be. <laughs> Will I fuck some things up at some point? Probably. Do I really even know what I'm doing? Probably not. So that's how my day's going. And with that being said, I'm gonna run upstairs and wash all this shit off to start with a fresh base. I know, Jacqueline Hill or me. You can't tell the fucking difference, am I right? Let's get this shit show on the road. Two hours later. Okay, so here's the tea, right? The foundation I was supposed to use was the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation, and I ordered it in Milkshake, which was the lightest color they have, I believe, because I blend in with the wallpaper most of the time. Every one of their goddamn mother has talked about this foundation, so I ordered it to see exactly what the fuck's up, right? Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation in the color Milkshake. It's... Smells like roses. Let's let's just see how this goes, shall we? So um, if you're curious about ever trying their foundation and you're the same color and complexion as me, uh, get something lighter than Milkshake because apparently it is literally the color white, like that palette right there. So I went ahead and used my holy grail that I always fall back on if something else fails for me for one reason or the other, which is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. And I use the shade Ivory Medium. I don't have a new concealer to try today. I do have the Laura Mercier concealer that just got put up on Sephora on the way. So I'm going to just use my good old Tarte Shape Tape in fair as fuck. This bottle is definitely about to shit out on me as we speak. Okay, maybe not. Okay, maybe. I've also been meaning to order the Makeup Revolution concealer that is supposedly a dupe for this when Tarte had to get all fucking messy. And if you've tried it, let me know. Or if you want me to try it and put that in another video. I personally always put my concealer like up on my eyelids as just like a primer. I, to be honest, Pretty much any eyeshadow primer I have used has made no difference in contrast to just using the shape tape. 
as a primer, so I just stick with that. It works for me, and I don't have to spend extra money on another product. 20 minutes later. Okay, and for setting powder today, I decided to order and try the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Again, another product that everyone and their fucking mother has raved about. Every beauty guru has tried it and raved about it. So though it's not new on the market, it's new to me. And I wanted to see exactly what the fuck was up. It doesn't come with a puff. Like you were 39 goddamn dollars or anything. So we are going to dump some of this out onto the cap and we're gonna bake the fuck out of this face. It's like super finely milled, which I do love in powders. I think probably everybody does feels really, really light on the face. And something that I can't stand. See, the powder that I always use is the Cody Airspun in Naturally Neutral. 65 grams of product in this motherfucker and it's like five bucks at Walmart. That has never let me down. And something that I cannot stand in powders is when even if you bake or don't bake, I cannot stand how it feels when you put a powder under your eyes and like when you look down or just eye level, you can feel it like in your creases. You know what I mean? It's like the weirdest fucking feeling in the world and I cannot stand it. Okay. I'm just going to grab a powder brush and set the rest of my face before we move on to my personal least favorite part, fucking eyebrows. And actually, while I'm at it, some of this powder, grab a blending brush, set the concealer on my eyes a little bit more. Like I cannot get over the texture of this powder. It is so fucking soft. Ugh. Okay, so for the brows, I do not have a new brow product to try today. So I am going to run and do my brows off camera and then come back. Three days later. I went and put my brows on and so far, I am really liking the Laura Mercier setting powder. On Sephora, it's $38 and you get 29 grams of product. But the one thing that chaps my ass slightly, a puff does not come with it. You have to purchase one for $15, the Laura Mercier puff. I'm just saying, if I'm paying like $40 for a setting powder, I would prefer it come with a goddamn puff. And I have super dry skin and I still bake. I know, I'm playing with fire, but it's not caking and creasing under my eyes, which does happen from time to time, no matter what the powder is. But I don't see that happening here, so that's pretty fucking groovy. Okay, so for contour today, I was actually hoping to have the Benefit Cosmetics Blush Bar Cheek Palette. I've also been wanting to try the Smashbox Cali Contour Palette. If that's something that you wanna see, let me know. Or the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. Bar Cheek Palette hasn't gotten here yet, so believe it or not, one bronzer that I have never tried is the Hula Benefit bronzer. In the full size Hula bronzer, you get eight grams of product for $29. And my cheap ass, because I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not, grab the mini, which has four grams of product. So, and yes, this is another product that everyone and their mother has raved and raved about. To be honest, I really can't think of one negative review that I've seen on it. So if you just dip your finger into it, it is really creamy and soft. I know that Jaclyn Hill has said that she likes the terracotta colored bronzers, but personally, I do not. The less red, the better. That packs a fuck ton of pigment. I literally did one of these. All right, do the same on the other side. <laughs> what I'm liking so far is like I've probably said about 10 other times in this video is I have super, super, super dry fucking skin. And I do sometimes have a problem with bronzers grabbing on to the dry skin patches. And I am not seeing that happening either. All right, not too shabby. Actually, to be honest with you, and to be fair, I have not obviously tried everything, but every Benefit product that I've tried so far, I've tried their primer, their eyebrow pencils, and I have not had a problem with any Benefit product. But you know what they say, there's a first time for everything. I'm going to grab an eyeshadow brush and run this down the sides of my nose. 
I always put just a little bit in that shadow under my bottom lip because when you don't have naturally big lips, it's a struggle. I'm gonna grab this face brush one more time. Ah! <laughs> There we go. Boom. Bronzed. Okay, so for eyeshadow today, I was going to play around with the new ABH Soft Glam Palette, which I can still do in a video if you want me to, let me know. But I got the Give Me Glow Staple Palette in the other day, and I just have to play with it. Ugh. I'm loving these pan sizes, by the way. I can fuck with that. It has 11 eyeshadows and a highlight right here, which I'm sure can double as either. to go in first in my crease with mood of the day. I'm gonna take my Morphe R37 brush. No, I'm not a Morphe ass licker. I just like their blending brushes. <laughs> okay. A pretty good amount of product. There's the tiniest amount of fallout, but these are eyeshadows. You'll have that. And let's just fuck shit up. Holy fuck, man. Okay, it is a little bit darker than I was planning, but that's okay. Wow, those blend out like a fucking dream. Usually, I am like steady on the struggle bus when it comes to like seamless blending. So I'm gonna take the last two colors, the orange and the red, and kind of marry them all together, going all the way down to the lash line. Okay, grabbing the same color on the same motherfucking brush, and we're gonna fuck shit up on this side. I am like honestly shocked at how easy it is to blend these colors out. I'm gonna go back in again and brighten up that color just a little bit. I also have a bad habit of thinking that my blend looks like asshole, so then I'll just blend away that motherfucker till there's nothing left. Okay. And something I have started doing that just makes this all so much easier on me, not something you have to do personally, it's just something I do now, is I will take a very, very small crease brush and take whatever color I just used on the top, dip it in, tap off the excess, and run it along that lower lash line and connect them. It's just kind of a step I'd rather do, kind of one right after the other instead of get the whole top lid done, and then move on to the bottom lid. I'd rather just kind of do it all together. And I have like hella hooded eyes, so shit's already difficult enough. I'm gonna try and clean up this side just a little bit with a brush with just nothing on it. Just a much fluffier blending brush. If I get a little crazy and color outside the lines. I don't fucking know. I'm not a beauty guru. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm just here with some brushes and a palette fucking around. Take that same blending brush and just smoke out that bottom lash line just a little bit so when I bring the other two colors in they don't just layer one on top of the other and you can't even see what the fuck was happening in the first place. Okay now I'm going to take a bit more of a densely packed blending brush and dip into this orange color hashtag right here and run that right under where that yellow is. Almost touching the top but not quite. Every time I get like a passing thought to maybe, oh, I don't know, do a halo eye, I remind myself that I fucking suck at them and I'm not Thomas Halbert. He does like some of the best fucking halo eyes and I hate him for it. Okay, I'm gonna dip back into hashtag and do the exact same motherfucking thing on this side. You know what's really fucking dope in my opinion is when 
Some of these smaller indie brands have products that would like put some high-end eyeshadows and not even just eyeshadows to fucking shame like that is one of the best surprises when it comes to like indie brands and yes i will be doing full face of indie brands because why the fuck not so if there is an indie brand that you want me to check out you can either leave a comment here or under the i want to say community tab and tell me what the fuck to check out what the fuck to order same as with the first color i'm going to take the tiny motherfucking crease brush, dip it into that same color hashtag, and run that under my lower lash line. And do the same thing on the other side. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna try. If at any point I'm like doing one of the D's, I'm sorry, this is my first fucking beauty video, just bear with me. It gets better, cause it can't possibly get fucking worse. Now... I am going to take, this is actually a BH Cosmetics brush and it doesn't, it just has 17 on it. I can find the link to it. I have a fuck ton of BH Cosmetics brushes, by the way, if you haven't tried their brushes and you're like looking for some cheap face or eye brushes, buy them. They are fan fucking tastic. Yeah, this one just says 17 on it. I'll leave all the links for everything I use down in the description, so. And now I'm going to dip into this kind of reddish orange color right here throwback Thursday and just deepen up this outer V a little bit try and blend out that harsh line that my ass just created for whatever fucking reason okay I'm gonna take the first brush I used with nothing on it just kind of run that over the top so it's not super harsh looking much fucking better all right i'm gonna grab that same color right here on the same brush and do the same thing shocker on the other eye try and even them up a little bit i'm gonna take that same brush and just run it lightly over the top there we go much fucking better and i'm grabbing the same small crease brush grabbing the color I just used on the top lid and just barely running it under that lower lash line but stopping like just before halfway to kind of keep that darker color on the outer V of the eye instead of dragging it all the way in. Like I am honestly just taken aback <laughs> and you thought I was gonna say shook didn't you? No, but seriously, these fucking shadows are just nuts. Is this palette Mario Indigo approved? Wait until you see the end of the video! So I was thinking of using this color highlight here as, you know, the highlight. But I'm thinking I'm going to put that on top of the inner corner here, connect it with these colors on the bottom lashes. That's the only thing that sucks about having nails is it is really hard to fucking do that. Okay, so let's try it with just a flat brush with no fix plus. It's a gorgeous fucking color. Wow, they are really not fucking around. Give me glow is taking prisoners. This is gonna get ugly, man. I don't know guys, I'm kind of liking it just like that. But I'm gonna take that same color highlight and go in the inner corner like with a more Fix Plus. That is just amazing, man. I have to use Fix Plus with almost like every single fucking shimmer shadow that I really, really want to like pop. Speaking of eyeshadows, if anyone has genuinely wondered why I have such a deep love for Cardi B, let me just, let me just, let me just show you a little something. This is literally what I'm going to start saying to anybody who's like, hey Margo, hey you fucking suck. I want to tell the people out there that thank you for supporting me and if you don't, suck my dick. And I know you think because I'm a woman I don't have a dick, but I have a pink dildo in my dresser. So, moving on. Actually, 
I could just get away with layering this, but I'm a little bit curious to see what it does look like with Fix Plus. Take some Fix Plus. Let's see what she can do. I didn't grab like a ridiculous amount, so. I'm gonna do the same thing on this eye. Spray it with some Fix Plus. Place that right on the very Okay, I'm gonna take that same color and just finish this bottom lid. Okay, so I do not have a new eyeliner, and I don't think I have like a brand new pair of lashes that I haven't really worn before. I usually just grab like art style lashes. <laughs> so I'm going to finish my eyes off camera and come back and finish the rest of the look. When in doubt of your eye look, put some liner and lashes on that motherfucker good to go. As far as bronzer and blush, I don't have any new products to try for that, so I'm just going to quickly put on what I usually would, which nine times out of ten is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, another product that absolutely everybody has tried and absolutely raves about and loves. Grab a bronzing brush, just sweep that over my cheeks. And for blush, I'm going to dip into my BH Cosmetics Nude Blush 10 color blush palette. And I'll usually mix a combination of these three. And the best part about these is a little goes a really long way, trust and believe. See, that's the only crappy part about some of these brushes. And it's usually only these brushes from BH. And I got this in like a huge pack. It was like a really, really cheap pack. And it's only been this brush and this one sometimes that will shed a little bit, but some brushes do that. It's still a blush brush that I do love to use, so. And really quick, I'm going to put some white eyeliner on the bottom lid. Okay, and for a highlight today, I am so fucking excited to use the Give Me Glow highlight in Halo. Bitch, look. It's fucking better, right? Do you see that? Like that probably doesn't even do it justice. The Give Me Glow highlighter in Halo is $17.50 on the Give Me Glow Cosmetics website and it has eight grams of product and is vegan and cruelty free. It has a 24 month shelf life. So they're just whooping ass on all fronts. All right, I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetics highlight brush. Okay, so if you're not a blinding kind of lady, I would go in with a light hand or maybe just avoid this altogether because holy fuck. This is seriously like one of the most blinding highlights I've ever seen in my entire life. Wow. I'm going to grab a small eyeshadow brush and highlight the brow bone gonna grab a BH Cosmetics brush. Okay, why not, while we're at it, fuck it, take this tiny packing brush and I'm going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes. fucking amazing, amazing product. And again, I will leave all product links in the description below. I highly fucking recommend that you grab, and you don't even have to grab Halo, even though I would. If all of their highlighters are like this, I'm probably gonna order five or six more after I'm done with this video, so. <laughs> okay, and for liquid lips, Again, maybe not new to you, but new to me. I have not tried any of Huda Beauty's liquid lips yet, so I grabbed their liquid matte in Venus. 
long lasting and comfortable matte liquid lipstick. Intense pigmentation helps to maintain lip hydration, no transfer. All right, Hedda, let's see what's up. She's definitely pigmented. Okay, and just to brighten up that under eye just a tiny bit, I'm going to go into my Kat Von D shade and light contour palette and grab this banana shade real quick. And just run that under the eye. You can do this with any banana colored powder. Give the face a little bit of brightening. And I'll either take my Max Fix Plus or the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. If you have made it to the end of this fucking video, congratulations, you've made it to the end of the very first beauty video on my channel. I know I'm sure I fucked something up at some point. If I did, just bear with me. But thank you for sticking around and watching this with me. I hope you had just as much fun as I did. All product links and deets will be in the description below. I hope you're having a good day or night wherever you're at. And don't forget, your vibe attracts your tribe. Bye.